often when I release a YouTube video, it is a thing of I am talking about something that I have either heard of, collected information about, or I've experienced myself. And recently I've been having a problem of not being able to concentrate or focus for long spells of time whilst studying. If you have the same problem, and you keep losing focus, concentration, you get distracted, then this video is for you. You know that they say in order to solve a problem or something, you have to firstly admit that you have a problem, right? So in this case, we can see that our problem is an inability to concentrate or focus for long spells of time. Now, we need to know now, why do you lose focus? Generally, I found two reasons out of this after looking at studies, taking surveys and asking uh, other students and the first reason is we don't take study breaks as regularly as we should the human brain is not meant to study for a long period of time on end without taking any breaks now the second reason is actually the biggest reason actually for me really it's, it's the biggest reason for me and it is that you have too many distractions going on whether it's your friend it's your mother it's your phone it's your girlfriend it is i don't know i don't know what things distract you and the best piece of advice or the best sentence i've heard this year is because you can resist the devil doesn't mean that you should hang out with him and this statement goes and cuts across to many different things you can think about it in many broad aspects of life what's the best advice you've received in life just because you can resist the devil doesn't mean you should hang out with him if you don't want temptation to follow you don't act like you're interested. It's much easier to avoid temptation than it is to resist it. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty part of this video, I'd like to introduce to you a fantastic resource that has really transformed my learning experience. And those are the proud sponsors of today's video, Brilliant. I'm always on the lookout for ways to enhance my skills and knowledge. And Brilliant has been a game changer for me. It helps users improve their skills in all these subjects, mathematics, computer sciences and data programming. It is a great resource for learning and expanding knowledge in these areas. Brilliant is an app that provides interactive courses and it offers a wide range of topics and challenges to help users improve their skills and knowledge in these subjects. Now, these topics are designed in a way to be engaging and hands-on, allowing users to learn through problem-solving and interactive activities. And personally, I really enjoy more when I am really interactive with something and the different learning paths that you can get with Brilliant. This is how I use Brilliant on my iPad, which is incredibly a game changer. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash coquettes or forward slash or click the link in the description. You will also get 20% off an annual premium subscription to Brilliant. Thank you yet again to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. But let's get back into the video. Now the first tip that I have for you to help you remain concentrated and focused for long spells of time is that you need to identify and know where you study best. Now I'm talking about a setting here. You know the time that you study best and where you study best. Now this goes into a concept of change of scenery. When you change the places that you study at, uh, I found personally and according to uh, many studies that I've read that it allows you to retain, uh, is it to retain? To retain information more. Yes, it increases your retention because if you study in the library today and then you study um, the next topic uh, in, your, in your bedroom and then you study the next topic perhaps in the kitchen, you study the next topic with a group of friends. When you're in the exam, you're more inclined to sit and really remember all those things because now you make spaced memory where you visualize that when I heard that answer, I remember someone said this, it was this guy who was standing on the right side of me when we were at the library and he said, he said, he said. Now studying in one place, it can work for you if you know that in that place you are so focused 
and so concentrated that there are simply no distractions. So knowing that when you are in this one place, in this one zone, you're in the zone, you let your family know, people, I'm studying. And you, you take nothing more than that. You let them know, mama, papa, I'm studying. Look, Coco, I'm studying. And they understand that when you are studying, you are studying. Then it's going to work out. But the biggest tip that I have for you is that you should try to incorporate a change of scenery in your study. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to find yourself minimizing distractions. That is something that I actually just spoke about a few seconds or minutes ago in the beginning of the video, saying that most of what we are gullible to is distractions. And that can be simply your cell phone being within reach and every few minutes you want to check it when the flashlight rather hits or you get a notification that you want to check to say who's texting me, who's saying this. And that is really distracting and of course it is it, it does not do for you anything. And it can also be when you're using your laptop, your iPad, and you have so many tabs open on your Safari or Chrome, having so many things going on keeps your mind not focused on one thing. Because the moment you open your Chrome, the moment you open your Safari, your Brave, you see that, okay, I'm doing uh, intervertebral disks, but then on the other tab, I have the scapula open. On the other tab, I have histology open. On the other tab, I have medical physics open. Now in your head, yes, you're focused on medical physics, but there's too much going on. And now you start thinking about all these things all at the same time and trying to multitask things in your mind is just going to lead to a simple catastrophe. It is not going to be easy. So what you want to do is to minimize distractions, give that phone off to someone, put it far away from you, switch it off, put it in airplane mode. If you're studying for 15 minutes straight, which is what I do, I study 15 minutes straight and for 15 minutes, I let everyone know who I constantly talk to that listen, I'll be offline for 15 minutes. And I'm going to come back for a study break for 10 minutes and I do that again and again and again and again and again and again. Now, the next tip that you want to do is to break down your work into smaller chunks. This is a process that will help you not get lost in your workload. And what that does is so basically, let us say for argument's sake what I do. Um, what I do is, let's say I'm supposed to cover a certain session, perhaps a session on the cardiovascular system. Now, I'll write down a to-do list where perhaps I'm starting with the location of the heart with re a relevance to the bones. And then the next thing, I'm looking at blood circulation. The next thing, I'm looking at how blood is pumped throughout the body. The next thing, I'm looking at perhaps um, the lymphatic system. The next thing. So what I do is I break it down into chunks. Say, okay, have I done chambers of the heart? Yes, that's one thing. Next thing. This helps you get that sense of accomplishment to say, okay, I'm finishing. As compared to, guys, I have to go study life science. About. This is different between saying, let me go study life science paper one and saying, okay, I'm studying life science paper one, but let me start with DNA, the code of life. Once you've done that topic one, you get that feeling of, okay, we are pushing. There's something, something is coming. And then you keep going and you do that again, 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 again. Because when you don't break down your content into smaller chunks, it gives you something that I've heard, the concept of paralysis by analysis. That is that when you look at how much work you have to do, you get overwhelmed to a point where you're like, you know what, I'm see it. So this is what we're trying to prevent. We're trying to prevent paralysis by analysis. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to schedule study time. Now, what this means is now, uh, again, I'll make a good example about myself. I know that I study from, okay, I know that I study best when people are sleeping. So what I'll try to do is to make my timetable such that in the AMs I'm studying. And now in the long run, when I schedule that study time, so okay, okay, so you're studying in the AMs. Every single day, I'm going to continue studying in the AMs to a point where it becomes a habit. To a point where in the AMs, there's no way that I can say I'm losing focus. Um, there's no way because why? I'm already used to and my my body is accustomed to this. You know, okay, we are studying. Like it is now, it is in the zone. It has been fixed into knowing that, okay, now it's crunch time. We can't be sitting now in the AMs being on WhatsApp or Instagram. We know that when we get to this place, when we sit down here, we have to study. So setting a scheduled and a programmed study time, like that time, try to maintain it as much as possible. Your brain will be programmed to knowing that at this time of the day, we have to study. 
whether there's growth happening, whether there's what, we know that at this time we have to study. And in the long run, this is going to help you because doing 30 minutes of work every day is better than doing six hours of work before the exam. And just do this and trust me, in the long run, it will help you. And with concentrating, it will help you when you allow your brain to know and understand and internalize the fact that when we sit at this space at this time, it's crunch time. Now, the fifth tip that I have for you is you want to make healthy study snack choices. Right? Now, with this, I'm not talking when I say healthy, then I'm talking about, oh, you have to eat like a rabbit now. Eat amalitis when I eat your tomatoes, eat your apples. No. What I mean, I mean, yes, eat them. Eat them, please. Because an apple a day keeps me away. Nice. But that is not the point. The point is, the point is that what you want to do is you want to, like, for example, I know that snacks that give me energy are biscuits, um, biscuits and biscuits and biscuits and bioplast, but in biscuits, right? So what you want to do <laughs> is you want to make sure that you get study snacks that give you energy. If you know that when I sit down and eat my nets, get food. Buy your neat nets and plus and then each time you go to study, carry your neat nets. And that also goes into the cognitive function of getting your brain into knowing Kore. When we sit at this space, at this time, holding our neat nets, it's crunch time. So that's what you're doing. When you make healthy study snack choices, as compared to like now, depending on going go kai kai to buy a quarter, to buy a pizza, when you take a study break, you go buy food, you, you're wasting money, wasting time, and that food is gonna make you lethargic. Is gonna make you lazy. The moment you're done eating, you just you just wanna sleep, whatever. So make your own lunch. If you know that you like chicken wraps and whatever, make a chicken wrap. Take it to the library with you. After studying for a few hours, you go outside, you eat it, you go back, get to the job again. So make your own lunch. You know that okay, my favorite food, Upotu and Amasi. Make that. Bring it to the library. You study. After that, you get out of the library. You eat your thing. Go back in. So that is one of the biggest things. You need to make healthy study uh, snack choices in a sense that you eat content that you know gives you energy. And on the last tip that I have for you, which is inevitably one of the biggest tips, which is why I actually spoke about it even in the beginning of the video, is that you want to take breaks. Take breaks in your studying. I find personally and asking many people that when you study for long spells of time, when you study for hours and hours on end without taking any breaks, you tend to lose focus and concentration and you lose track of what you're doing. Like eventually you just feel like, you know what, it's in fact, let me, let me go off. If you study for five hours straight or for four hours straight and then you get a notification from someone saying, yo, where you at? I promise you, you will lose focus. Somehow you will lose focus. So what you want to do is to study your 50 minutes, take a 10 minute break, study 50 minutes, 10 minute break, 15 minutes, 10 minute break, and then you can take maybe an hour break, and then you do it again. And in you studying and taking a break, to some people it can be 25 minutes to 45 minutes, but for me, I work 50 minutes because I know that I can concentrate and focus for 15 minutes before my brain supply cuts off or something. And then that 10 minutes is to do whatever, God knows what, get onto WhatsApp, watch a short YouTube video, and eat. But I use the 10 minutes to do something that is not academic or schoolwork related whatsoever. So that's what you want to do. Make sure that you occasionally take breaks during your study. Because this allows your mind to come down, refresh, and your brain will now process all the information that you just studied. It'll set it in, get into your long-term memory, and then we keep going and again and again and again and again. And so, Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching yet another video. And I feel the need to ask for forgiveness, you know, because if it was up to me, I'd be posting videos literally every single week, every single Friday. But because of my schedule, I'm writing tests every now and then. My lectures run till five on some days, run till four, till three. And I'm the class rep of my medicine class. Um, there's too many things that are happening. For all of us, actually, in general, there's just too many things happening. And yeah, I'm still trying to adjust. So for now, please do forgive me for my inconsistency. I mean, with relation to other YouTubers, it is like, I'm consistent because people can post once every month. But then according to my standards, I'd like to post every week. So I promise I'm trying my best and I will try my best to try and maintain that for you. 
but yes thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and I hope that these tips that I just gave you will help you as I believe that they are crucial in giving the mental sharpness to allow you to be able to concentrate or focus for increasingly higher amounts of time when studying but otherwise don't forget to like comment and subscribe stay happy and healthy and peace